Hi everyone, Bobby Stevens here, your host for That Makes Sense. I think you're in for a real treat today. We'll be talking about my favorite time of the year and one of my favorite annual pieces that my colleagues work on, the holiday season and the holiday retail survey. It's kind of crazy, but this is the 36th anniversary of the survey. It's really a great piece to look forward to every fall. So each year we've always pulled consumers on their shopping plans for the season, including where they'll be shopping, how much they plan to spend, what they're looking to buy, how they'll be using technology, and how they'll be using social media and much, much more. This year, the team conducted an additional survey. We asked retailers for their thoughts and predictions for the season, getting a pulse of retail leadership. So with both consumer and retail point of view, there is a ton of valuable information in this report. So I definitely recommend that you check out the full thing on Deloitte Insights. But here today, I'll give you a quick readout in case you don't want to do that just yet. And we'll go through the major findings and the key stats that you should know. So first, let's set the scene. Let me start with a little bit of info about the survey itself. We pulled approximately 4,000 consumers and 30 retail executives with a variety of questions. What's the general sentiment? Well, the general sentiment is some holiday traditions are making a comeback, especially as people are feeling less anxious about health concerns and are planning to hit the stores and resume gathering and maybe some travel too. But as you're probably all aware, it won't really be a true return to pre-pandemic trends. Plus, some of these pandemic influence habits like digital and delivery options are really sticking because, frankly, they work and people prefer them. You know, from the retailer side, it's interesting. Executives are pretty optimistic about the season and are gearing up to meet consumer demands, both traditional and new. Supply chain will likely be a problem or an issue, and we'll see how retailers are able to deal with that. You know, as I think about it, we talked earlier about the pre-pandemic trends and the during pandemic trends. And one thing that I definitely have done during the pandemic is curbside pickup. And I'll be hosting Thanksgiving for the first time this year with my entire family. So I will absolutely be leveraging that to order and pick up all the food needed to make a yummy Thanksgiving meal. So I'm really looking forward to that. Well, enough of that. Before I get too excited about my Thanksgiving dinner here, let's get into the four major findings from our report. The first is, you know, if you think about consumer sentiment, all is merry and bright, but only really for the high income consumers. You know, we are seeing overall holiday spend predicted to be up about 5% over last year with an average spend coming in just short of $1,500. But most of that is driven by higher income households. You know, I think it's probably because as you're seeing stability with household income about 80% better than last year. However, again, most of that is coming in the high income. So we're seeing the tale of two consumers happening here. And when you ask retail execs, they're certainly hoping to take advantage of that, where almost 75% expect shoppers to spend more or even significantly more this holiday season than last. As we look at consumer behavior and more specifically coming to the stores and shopping in the stores, well, I think maybe more consumers will venture out as health and safety anxiety decreases and vaccine rates go up and boosters continue to come into play. In fact, we have some data to support that 40% of consumers are anxious about health and safety versus over 50% last year. So we are seeing increase in spending on experiences and coming out of their house. The other thing we're seeing is that engagement with digital platforms will be high, right? And continue to be high with 62% of spend expected to occur online, much higher than the norm before pandemic with curbside pickup and Bopus being a massively popular and convenient offering for those who do want to get a little out of the house, perhaps but not come into the store. The other thing interesting is 30%, almost 30% say they plan on using social media this holiday season, primarily for researching products and understanding inspirational elements of it. You know, again, retail executives have a pretty rosy view with 40% expecting double digit online channel growth again this year. You know, some of the flip side of that is if it is increased spending, both overall and massive increase in spending online, we might see some supply chain problems. And I love what my colleague said here, which is delivery time is frightful. 75% of shoppers are even concerned about stock ups, especially in consumer electronics, accessories, those hot toys and can't miss hobbies for their kids. You know, four in 10 will also likely start their shopping earlier, citing those potential shipping issues 
and stock issues for the primary shift in timing. You're also seeing some thinking about pricing and inflation as a reason to get out early, and retailers are reacting by starting some of their deals and events earlier as well. In fact, 68% of shoppers plan on shopping before Thanksgiving versus only 61% last year. Retail executives, 64% are concerned about receiving inventory in time for the holidays, and you know that's a real potential for conflict of consumers coming out early, looking for things that aren't there yet, and then potentially not coming back. So we'll have to monitor that as we move into the holiday season. I think the final trend to look at is really that of inflation. And I mentioned this earlier, but it is beginning to look a lot like we're seeing markups, not discounts or markdowns during the holiday season. You know, 40% of consumers versus only 20% last year say they may spend more this year due to just higher prices. You know, those who plan to spend less, 50% blame it on the fact that other items like food are costing more. You know, and 60% of consumers still say getting a great deal is the number one attribute for a retailer, but we're seeing higher prices and fewer promotions might mean that those deals are harder and harder to find for that consumer, especially that time stretch consumer. You know, ultimately, I think retail executives agree here, which is about 50% expect retail product prices to increase this holiday season, while 57% expect flat or lower promotional activity. In normal years, that would be a good thing. We'll have to wait and see what that looks like this year. Well, there you have it, folks. The quick review of the findings from Deloitte's 2021 Holiday Retail Consumer and Executive Surveys. Now, this was just the stocking stuffer, right? An abbreviated version of the key findings. If you want to get the entire holiday gift haul under your tree, go ahead and check out the full survey report out now on Deloitte Insights. You know what, though? There's a little more. I do want to give you all a heads up that Deloitte will be rolling out two more holiday reports, one that's specific to pre-Thanksgiving shopping days, covering Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, and all the trends we see there. And another report all about holiday travel and whether or not it's resurging. So if you're curious to know about how many of Americans are planning to fly, stay at hotels, rent cars, and other holiday travel this season, you'll want to check out that survey. Or you can tune into the very next episode of That Makes Sense, to get a great debrief from me and a special guest. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. You can listen on your favorite podcatcher, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Simply search for That Makes Sense. Connect with me on social media, Bobby Stevens on LinkedIn or at Bobby Stevens on Twitter. This presentation contains general information only and Deloitte is not by means of this presentation rendering accounting, business, financial, investment, legal, tax, or other professional advice or services. This presentation is not a substitute for such professional advice or services, nor should it be used as a basis for any decision or action that may affect your business. Before making any decision or taking any action that may affect your business, you should consult a qualified professional advisor. Deloitte shall not be responsible for any loss sustained by any person who relies on this presentation.